Well, it's Sunday morning and uh, we've got up, gotten ready and decided to move campsite because when we arrived, it was at night, so it was dark and we couldn't see what kind of tree we were under. And we're under an acorn tree and it doesn't look too bad, but uh, during the night, these little things fall down onto the roof and they look pretty small and I'm assuming these acorns but it sounds like by the time they drop on the roof and then roll down it sounds like squirrels are having a game of 10 pin bowling so so that kind of interrupted our sleep and then we got these little things and I'm not even sure what they are but uh, the whole roof is covered in these and you'd be amazed how much noise these make so we're moving sites. We need to get some sleep. Our coach has slide toppers, um, which we don't really need to sweep it off because they you can't get stuff on the slide, so it doesn't risk damage, but I still like to sweep it off just to be sure um, occasionally when I know there's a bunch up here. But these are a really good feature. We know some people that don't have them and they would always have to come and sweep before they leave. Definitely glad we got those. Yeah. As much as like the site, sometimes you got to look at the site, know how it works with your rig. This one's clearly downhill, and our coach prefers uphill, so sometimes you just got to park in them backwards. In this case, backwards is forwards. <laughs> so we finally set back up in our campsite. Definitely took longer than expected. We thought it was going to take maybe, maybe 20, 30 minutes. Oh uh, yeah, probably 30 minutes, but yeah. ended up being closer to an hour and a half because. <laughs> the site is not level and it's the opposite of what we would prefer and you just got to be creative because uh, the only trick with that is you need to run all your hookups underneath to the other side but that's a little small price to pay to have a nice site <laughs> with no acorns and good night's sleep. 